I was just going to pull the trigger on an investment purchase, but I wanted to be sure that we're on the same wavelength. What is it? Stocks? The Brooklyn Bridge? Vacation property in Florida? Very funny. It shares in a gold mining company. Hmm. Would this be a big purchase? How much money are we talking here? It's small potatoes now, but the way the price of gold and currencies have been all over the map lately, the value could skyrocket. Well, I won't pussyfoot around it. I think it's foolish to gamble with money we can't afford to lose. Look what happened to Stan's family. You're probably right. I should probably stop following these investment websites, huh? Now, Brian, you and I, we don't have money to invest. But no, we don't. I do know people who have lost a lot of money on these sort of investments. Yeah, I mean, I know money, people who, who make money investing. I know people who lose money investing. Um, you know, but uh, for me, I just I don't have money to invest in the first place, so I, I don't do it. But yeah, it, obviously, any sort of uh, business venture, there's going to be an inherent uh, risk mm -hmm. that's involved. But um, but yeah, to me, it's just it's so foreign to me that I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. And so I wouldn't really feel confident, especially these days, you mm -hmm. know, back in like up until like the early 90s and yeah. mid 90s. It was Real hard estate. to go wrong. Everything mm -hmm. was going up for right. for a long time, but then the bubble burst, and now it's just like it's you've got to be pretty savvy to uh, to make money in the markets. These yeah. Days. So if you have some extra money, just maybe keep it you stashed it under the me. bed. <laughs> give it to me. That's always an option. Oh, all right. Well, great. Okay. So let's start the dialogue. Martin says, "I was just going to pull the trigger on an investment purchase, but I wanted to be sure that we're on the same wavelength." Well, thank goodness this man checks with his wife because some people don't check with their spouses. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you pull the trigger on something, are we, we've got a shotgun? What's going on? Well, if you pull the trigger on something, in a general sense, it just means you're about to do something. Mm -hmm. You're about to make a decision. You're about to um, act on something. Uh, in this particular case, he's talking about buying some stocks or investing in something. So it means that he's just, he's about to do it. He's about to make the investment. Okay. Um, is it always pretty much to buy something? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It just basically means to, to, do, to do something, mm -hmm. uh, to take some sort of action. Uh, often it's uh, to, to buy something, to make some sort of purchase, but it can be used in other situations in, as well. Okay. Uh, now, if he wants to check that they are on the same wavelength, so when we're talking about two people being on the same wavelength? Yeah, to be on the same, same wavelength basically means to, to be in agreement to be thinking the same sort of thing, to be communicating well. Mm -hmm. And this refers to wavelengths in like electronics. Yeah. Um, so uh, for instance, radio, of course, our listeners are uh, probably either tuned in on the radio, on the internet, but when you talk about sort of old school, just FM, F FM, AM radios, mm -hmm. you know, this goes out on certain, it's broadcasts on certain frequencies and these wavelengths go out and it's broadcast at a certain wavelength and your radio has to be tuned into the same wavelength for you to listen. Right. Or else you're going to hear static or you're going to hear some other channel. Um, but if you're on the same wavelength, then you can communicate. Mm -hmm. So whether it's radio or CB or whatever it is, you need to be on the same wavelength. And there are certain people that you might meet and you're just not on the same wavelength. Or maybe there's just a particular day that you and your husband or wife or your children or whatever mm -hmm. are just, you're just not understanding each other. Right. And so you might just say, we, we are not on the same wavelength today. I think it becomes a real big problem when you become parents and the mom and the dad are not on the same wavelength. That could cause a lot of confrontation and friction. And Even this, in the relationship, this is a, a big deal. Yeah, this happens because uh, they're, you know, different people, individuals, even if they're married and they're a part of a couple, mm -hmm. they might have different ideas on parenting or in general, or just certain things come up and, you know, is it okay to use the computer? And dad says, yes, mom says no. Yeah, right. And so it kind of sends mixed signals to the, the child or oftentimes there will be one parent who's a little bit more lenient. And so 
the kid will, if turned down by one parent, will go to the other parent and ask if, if he can do something. And That's so, my son. Yeah. It yeah. causes problems sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so to be on the same wavelength, uh, and April says, what is it? Stocks, the Brooklyn Bridge, vacation property in Florida? And Martin says, very funny. It's shares in a gold mining company. Hmm. Would this be a big purchase? How much money are we talking here? And Martin says, it's small potatoes now, but the way the price of gold and currency have been all over the map lately, the value could skyrocket. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a few expressions here. First of all, small potatoes. It's small potatoes. Why are we talking about vegetables? Yeah, uh, so small potatoes means it's something that's it's not a large amount. It's not a significant, uh, it's not a significant number. So, in this case, when you say that, something sometimes uh, someone mm -hmm. so just something that's relatively insignificant so you talk about money and it's he's saying it's not a lot of money you know it's small potatoes and uh but he says the price of gold and currencies have been all over the map so if something is all over the map yeah if something's all over the map it means that it is uh, it fluctuates wildly so there is no regular pattern it's not stable it's just really, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. It's just, when you say it's all over the map or something is all over the map, it just means it's really uh, inconsistent. So, but now it's, it's interesting because it's inconsistent, but he's speaking as if it's a good thing here. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit unusual because mm. generally speaking with investments, you don't want to look for something that is all over the map. You want to look for something that is continuing to go up mm -hmm. either steadily or drastically. Uh, but all over the map is not necessarily a good thing unless you're sort of looking to short sell. You're looking to just get in and out really quick, make some money quickly and then, you know, sell your stocks. But um, generally speaking, most people don't want to invest on in a stock that's all over the map. Yeah. Well, I guess there's obviously there's a higher risk, but maybe there's a higher gain. But it would be very risky. Yeah, and I guess uh, for people who are maybe a little bit more adventurous mm -hmm. in their investing strategy, mm -hmm. uh, this might be appealing because maybe in a short amount of time you can make a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. So now, so he's thinking, well, it could the value could skyrocket. Yeah, if something skyrockets, it just means that it goes up very rapidly. So think of a rocket. Mm -hmm. uh, and when a rocket takes off, it takes off at great velocity. It goes very quickly. It goes straight up. So if you're talking about stocks or prices or something skyrocketing, it just means it goes up very drastically, very quickly. Hmm. Now, April says something very interesting here. Yeah, she says, well, I won't pussyfoot around it. I think it's foolish to gamble with money we can't afford to lose. Mm -hmm. So if you pussyfoot around something, what does this mean? Yeah, when you pussyfoot around something, um, it basically means that you're not being direct. Uh, you're not being totally committed to something. Uh, so in this context, it's kind of like beating around the bush. Mm -hmm. She's saying, I won't beat around the bush, bush, you know, get straight to the point. So she's saying, I won't pussyfoot around it. Um, I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. Sometimes people are not always direct and, you know, maybe they're a little bit subtle. They, they kind of speak in circles around something. But in this case, she's saying, I'm going to get straight to the point. Okay. We don't have the money. Yeah. At least not enough mo money to lose mm -hmm. if, uh, if it doesn't go well. So this pussyfoot is actually, it comes from a cat. Yeah. Yeah. And usually cats are very different in the way they walk compared mm -hmm. to dogs. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're more nimble. They're more light footed. They're a little bit more cautious. Yeah. So it's a little bit different from a dog. They just kind of plot along. Yeah, exactly. So she says uh, she gives an example of Stan's family. And Martin says, you're probably right. I should probably stop following these investment websites, huh? But I think that a lot of people, once you get caught up in these sort of things, it's uh, it's easy to, it, so it sounds appealing. Yeah. And, and obviously there are people who have made billions, if not billions of dollars investing money and, and uh, playing the stock markets. But uh, I think that for people who are not that experienced with it, you want to do a lot of research. You want to get a lot of uh, a lot of input from people who are professionals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and listen to our dialogue one more time. 
I was just going to pull the trigger on an investment purchase, but I wanted to be sure that we're on the same wavelength. What is it? Stocks? The Brooklyn Bridge? Vacation property in Florida? Very funny. It shares in a gold mining company. Hmm. Would this be a big purchase? How much money are we talking here? It's small potatoes now, but the way the price of gold and currencies have been all over the map lately, the value could skyrocket. Well, I won't pussyfoot around it. I think it's foolish to gamble with money we can't afford to lose. Look what happened to Stan's family. You're probably right. I should probably stop following these investment websites, huh? Time for take note. Our first expression is pull the trigger on something. Yeah, to pull the trigger on something means to to buy something or just in general make a decision, take some sort of action on something.、Mm -hmm. I'm glad you stopped me before I pulled the trigger on that boat. Okay, on the same wavelength. Yeah, to be on the same wavelength means that you are sort of thinking the same thing. You're in agreement about something. Doug is not always on the same wavelength as his partner. But they're a good team. Okay,、uh, moving on to small potatoes. Yes,、uh, small potatoes. It's something that's uh, it's in, it's insignificant.、Um, usually, when we're talking about money, but、uh, something that's not important. It could even be a person sometimes.、Mm. Uh, Trent's salary is small potatoes, considering how hard he works, or shall we say, Brian and Kristen's salary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At EBS, is small potatoes, yeah, all over the map.、Uh, yes, if something is all over the map, it means that it's very inconsistent.、Uh, it's very erratic.、Uh, you don't understand the topic. Your test answers were all over the map. If something skyrockets. Yeah, if something skyrockets. It means it increases very quickly,、uh, very, very rapidly. Okay, many analysts expected the price of oil to skyrocket, and finally, pussyfoot. Yeah, to pussyfoot means to to basically to beat around the bush or to be very delicate with a matter.、Um, reports accuse the politi the politician of pussyfooting around the issue.、Mm -hmm, so beating around the bush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. On Friday, we had a quiz question. We were talking about、uh, Halloween, and this year, apparently, dressing up as a certain person、mm -hmm. is the the popular Halloween costume for the year. Who is this person? The answer is Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Okay. Okay. And today we have a quiz question for you, as always. Now,、uh, in the dialogue, we heard an expression about something being in insignificant. Unimportant, and we said that it is small blank, small blank, and it's in the plural,、uh, usually.、Mm -hmm. So, what are we talking about? It's a vegetable, a tuber. Yeah.、Uh, if you know the answer, go to our homepage and put it up in the quiz answer folder. And Brian. Yes. If they get the right answer, what do they get? If they get the right answer, they get a brand new car. Woo! Okay. <sighs> no. Um, so, but we do have some some lovely gifts for you, some lovely prizes and whatnot.、Um, we of course need to thank our sponsors who are giving you these gifts. Okay. Big thank yous going out to Universal Music, who is giving away free music CDs to、uh, some of our lucky listeners. EBS Lang, so online, 무료수강권한국토익위원회에서토익토익스피킹무료응시권을Chuang Daily, us and New York Times, good luck, Guan. We'll tell him the door. Yeah, and just a reminder too.、Uh, if you come onto our website, there is a specific folder, or how shall I, a category for、uh, our quiz answers. Yeah. So make sure you find that and post your answers there. Yeah, because sometimes people put it up on like the Pandi board or、yeah. the Q and A or whatever. And, a lot on the Pandi board, and、yeah. that's not going to get you a, a prize. Yeah, you have to do it in the quiz answer folder, and then of course you have to go back and check to see if you won or not. Okay. Okay, we're going to wrap up today's show with a song. This one is by Luther Vandross, and it's called "Never Too Much." Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye bye.